Mortuary tables stand as silent monuments to one of the worst crimes of apartheid. The bodies of political prisoners were cleaned here after execution. Mveli's father and four uncles were all hanged in 1964 in what was called Pretoria Central Prison. They were accused of sabotaging a bridge and killing some white people. I didn't understand at the time as I was so young, but they were sentenced to death. On the day of their execution, this was the prisoner's final walk. They climbed up these 52 stairs, counting them in single file, into the execution room. The remains of the five Bulandlela brothers are among the first to be exhumed. But first, a cleansing ceremony in the hangman's chamber. To see the nooses and the painted footprints indicating where their loved ones stood, seven at a time, before being hanged. They were buried in mass graves, which have taken years to identify, but at last some of the Volendlela family remains are brought to light. It's the day relatives have all been waiting for. After all of these years of investigating and trying to get help, this is the day I finally feel relieved. For decades, the National Party enforced racial segregation and violently repressed any dissent. Many died fighting it, some famous others forgotten by all but their families. Before being handed over to the families, a final process of identification will be carried out, which could take several months, but after more than 50 years, at least now their final journey to a dignified burial in their ancestral homes has begun. Tania Page, Al Jazeera, Pretoria.